Hey guys, I'm going to be posting this at the beginning of uh, episode 20, I think it is, because I want to show this off because the dialogue is their di these two grunts' dialogue has not changed. This text is the same, so I won't read it. Our boss is here. He's gone out to check a submarine. Where did he go? <laughs> Do you think I can tell you something that crucial? Our boss is here. He's on his way to Slateport City. Why did he go? Yeah, I'm not going to repeat that because that's the exact same dialogue too. The middle dialogue is the only thing to change. So yeah, we're supposed to go to Slateport City. I'll be back in just a second in Slateport City to start the main part of the episode. So just a second, everybody. Hey, everybody. This is Game Freak 10124. And welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Ruby. So that little clip I showed at the beginning, talking to those Mega Grunts again, hinted to the next thing I need, we need to do to come to, there to progress the storyline is come back to Slateport City. So let's find out what we're supposed to do here. I'm just gonna show off everybody's text here, even though I don't usually show off anybody's. So most of the characters text I don't show they're like people that are incredibly unimportant because once this is over with these people won't be here at least in this part I'm not sure if these are people that are normally in other parts of the city but irregardless you're not on TV now because I'm blocking you fat so I'm just kidding like, of course the guy is fab, but I'm trying to not be rude, so, yeah. But I'm not, I don't, I don't, I do not condone, uh, I do not in any way, shape, or form condone uh, teasing or picking on somebody just because they're overweight. Because that's 100% rude. But anyway. So yeah, Gabby and Ty. Oop, I did, forgot to read his text. Oh well. Trying to remember the voice I gave him. I'm sorry I forgot to read his dialogue. I forgot that he did a voice for him. Uh, let me think here. Phew, that was my first time to be filmed for TV. That was nerve wracking. Oh man, you're looking great. Great, maybe you discovery in our last deep for inspiration. We found an underwater cavern on Route 128. We didn't get to happen yet with Pokemon, and it said you have been non extinct. Foo foo foo. Foo foo foo. Captain Stern, I presume. We have three mad models. Assume control of your submarine. Your objections are meaningless. We expect your total cooperation. Foo foo foo. Just watch and learn what Team Magma has planned. What was that all about? It sounded like someone using a megaphone. Where did it come from? It's from your harbor. It's coming and you're trying to take it. Yay, please come with me. Doo -doo -doo. Hey, what are you doing? Wow, uh, uh, I can come on, mess right with you. All that effort you spent following me here from all the way from my pyre. But now, no one can stop us. No one. Or will you follow us back to our hideout in Ely Coast City? <laughs> Why? Why would you make me steal my Silvering Explorer 1? They can't be after the Silvering Pokemon at the bottom of the sea. But even if I were to take them, I don't stand a chance against them. Yeah, and the dialogue doesn't change. I figured it probably didn't. <clears throat> Anyway, guys, I will be right back. I'm going to cut, and I'm when I come back, I will be showing something else off here at the harbor. So, just a second, everybody. Hey, guys, I'm back yet again, or not yet again. One, uh, I'm. Uh, I don't know why I said that, but I'm back, guys, and now it's time to uh, deliver that scanner to Captain Stern, like I said uh, uh, a few episodes back. Oh, yay, that item you have. That's a scanner. That would cheer you. Help, help us on our explorations. 
Maybe when you change your scam or something? Like say deep sea two your deep sea scam that I have? And now I'm going to go over these items. The deep sea tooth uh I can't get them because they require trading uh to do this with them, but the deep sea tooth, uh but correct me if I'm wrong, I think it raises Clamper of special attack. And Deep Sea Skull raises Clamper of special defense. But they also have another effect. Deep Sea Tooth, when uh, given to a Clamper, will evolve it through trading into, uh, let me think here. Uh, Hunt Tail. It's a wa I, I, I should, I would wait on uh, uh, explaining this until the future when I can actually catch it, but I might as well. Uh, do it now, get over with. Clamp Pearl is not that great of a Pokemon unless you evolve it. But, uh, Hunt Tail has got pretty good attack, decent physical defense, but it doesn't have the speed or special defense to back it up. It is good in future generations for smell, shell, smell, shash, <laughs> shell smash, and, uh, white herb. And then Deep Sea Scales will evolve it into, uh, Gorbis. Gorbis is the bulkier of the two. It's got decent special attack. Again, that's another Pokemon that's not that great until 5th and 6th gen, where you can also use Shell Smash and, uh, particularly in 5th and 6th gen. You can use Shell Smash and the White Herb on it. It doesn't really matter which one I get, but since this is, uh, well, you know what? Yeah, I'll just go for the DC Tooth, because again, it doesn't really matter, because I won't be getting a Clamp Pearl. And I can't evolve it because it requires trade. Thanks, man. This will help our research a lot. Um. Uh. Also, guys. Uh. I forgot to show something off, so I'll be back in just another second, everybody. Anyway, guys, I'm back again. So I had to reload my game. But I want to show something off. And that is, if you don't uh, want to accept either of the items. Are you certain it's loose as you, me? Well, okay then. If you want to create your scanner, let me know. <laughs> it is useless to us. But anyway, now that I've done this. Let's see here. I want to make sure there's no dialogue I missed. Sorry about this. No, I didn't. I didn't think so. Anyway, guys, I'm going to make yet another cut, so I'll be back in just another second, everybody. Hey, guys, now that I showed the, that that little part off, it's time to, uh, or I'm ba back in, yeah, I just said, uh, previously said what I should have said after what I just said I should have started with. I'm sorry if I, what I just said right there confuses any of you guys, but anyway. So we learned that the Team Magma has a hideout out here, and that we're supposed to apparently go there now. You guys, you guys will find out something that I uh, was trying to keep under wraps, and not mention anything about in just a minute here. Let's see here, Super Repel. I saw it when active. How was I supposed to remember? You know, I don't think you get counters inside anyway. But yeah, where those two magma grunts were, where their dialogue changed, it was here in Team Magma's hideout. I was here, but I didn't want to reveal the place, uh, the, what the place was yet for anybody who has not played the games yet. Or that has never played the games or seen them played. Because they not spoil people. Since I can't run when I'm looking for stuff out here, I'm checking, I'm gonna speed up. I was pretty sure there wasn't any items there, but I always check just to make sure because I don't play. I, even though I played the games a lot in the past, I haven't played them enough in the past to remember whether ever be able to remember whether or not there's actually items with those two sides. But anyway, ay ay ay, ay ay ay, suspicious character spotted. I almost uh, gave, uh, unintentionally gave him a, a stereotypical Mexican voice because of ay ay ay. Uh, sadly, that's a, uh, that's one of the results of stereotypical thinking, uh, and all of us humans stereotype because that's how we make sense of the world. A little psychology and diversity lesson for you people, for me. Meanwhile, I'm defeating the Puchians of a useless team magma grunt. Uh. 
crap. Freaking eye. <laughs> Grr, I lost it. It took. I took the loss for the team, but my I did my job. Yeah, I can uh, understand. You can understand that some of you guys' jobs is to just fail and stall. That's what some of you guys have even said. Max Elixir, yay. We. Ah, uh, I hate being itchy. It's so incredibly annoying. Uh, trying to think of something in particular and just to talk about. At the time we record, I guess I can mention this. At the time we are recording this, uh, uh, Slim Kirby uh, has uploaded his Link and Samus videos for Smash Brothers Melee, and I think it was in his Link video. It could have been a Sa his Samus video, but I'm pretty sure it was his Link video where he. Uh, told the story about how he got Melee and how he got his GameCube and how even though things didn't seem that way at all at first, he actually ended up getting a, like a GameCube and Melee uh, before what his friends did. I won't tell the entire story, so you guys, should, if you guys want to hear the entire story, go check out Slim Kirby's Link or Samus video. I'm not, I think it's his Link video. Of course I'm not tired at all, hon. I never tire. It's fun to keep uh, magma grunts. It rocks my soul. What? I mean, what? <laughs> anyway. Uh, I don't like being itchy, especially when I'm recording. Don't blame you. I'd be bored too having to watch over here and have nothing happen except for someone come along who's inevitably gonna kick your arse. Anyway, I'm talking again. The reason I stay completely silent for that fight is so you guys can hear the awesome epic battle music. Yeah, whatever, Han. I can look out for myself. They're not gonna get me. Also, it's a lot. It's blah, blah, blah. also it's been a little while since I switched my Pokemon up. Usually, normally, like I've said in the past, I should stop mentioning it to not be annoying, but. Generally, what I always do is switch my team over around often, so they're always on even footing, as even footing as possible. Do 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 do. Makes things easier to sort out. Taking our panels. Um, actually, I think this is where I want to go because I'm pretty sure if I go the other way of where that female grunt is, I'll progress with the area. Do 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 do. do. If you guys couldn't tell, I know this puzzle by heart. Which is good because if you don't know the puzzle, you can freaking spend a whole hell of a lot more time than what I did, just did uh, doing this. But anyway. What? What? And what? It's an electrode. Yeah. Electrode encounters here. Interesting. I already knew this, of course, but yeah. I could catch one, but I don't want to. I'll just kill him for experience. Um, let's see here. Uh, I kind of hate to because I don't particularly want speedy bees on this thing, but a oh wall. I don't want to have someone else have to, have to take someone else out to handle these. I'd rather just have Doku take it or take them. 
Hmm. Uh, I wish I had more things in mind to talk about. Stupid full bag! I hate this thing! I never sold these items uh, in between episodes. That's part of my problem. Just to make room, I'll max potion this one. I will definitely be selling those items in between episodes, so I don't have to worry about this being an issue anymore. Also, this is a very important item. You want to come here and get this. And, of course, if you're having trouble navigating that path that I took, just uh, watch my video closely, pause it if you need to, between intervals or whatever, and follow my path and you'll get right to this room. You want to get this item. It is none other than the Master Ball. 100% catch rate. It will not fail. If it does, you have a you need to go to the I don't know. I'm trying to think here. Ah, I'm trying to think of something to be funny. But, oh well. Uh, failure. Something. Someone interesting at least. If you'd stop twirling like a ballerina. Fuel supply loaded, a-okay. Angry snacks loaded, a-okay. Nothing left to do but KO pesky meddler. Yeah, freaking right. You're not gonna knock me out. There's no way you can do that with such crappy Pokemon. Oh, I just thought of something I can talk about, and that is, uh... Apparently, it's been a while since I've, I I told him this because uh, I for uh, like it's been a while since he's done, he did his original one. But apparently, in his original LP of Mario Party 2 that he fully uploaded on YouTube and eventually took down to redo it, uh, Dry Bones. Apparently, I told at one point I told him that like it's one thing he did was for his. Uh, in Mario Party 2, his original Let's Play, with it has been removed off of YouTube, um, that he removed off because he want, removed it because he wanted to redo it. Um, apparently, <clears throat> like he had used Kid, uh, the Kid Rock song, uh, like the part of the song Cowboy, uh, uh, for the intro to uh, Western Land. I will continue this conversation in a minute here so I can actually continue on with the game. I took a serious licking. Also, why is like a synonym for the word freaking uh, defeat? <clears throat> this was supposed to happen. My mission was just to hold you up. If you want to know about the secret of, uh, if you want to know the secret about our hideout, you have me to beat. Bring it freaking on. Anyway, uh, he, I, like I said, Drive Ones used Cowboy in the original Let's Play that's not on YouTube anymore uh, for his intro to uh, Western Land, and apparently in the past, I can't remember making a comment on this, because like I said, it's been a while, but apparently I said he should do intros for every one of his videos for Mario Party 2, like all the boards anyway, so... That's what, he, that's what he did when he recorded it, apparently. I don't know if he had the entire thing recorded or not, but he used, like, for... I can't remember what the lamb was called. Uh, it was one of the boards. I can't remember what it was called. Go watch it. Check out his channel, Mario Party 2 Let's Play, if you want to uh, see it. But he used the Inspector Gadget uh, theme for his intro, which was hilarious. <laughs> But yeah, another thing I can talk about, I guess, is Jarbone said that he's going to try and put his Let's Play of Pokemon XZ. He's going to try to go as far as he possibly can in the Ori Coliseum. And he's been raising Pokemon up to level 60 to do it and stuff. He told me uh, what took got the chance you get in the game, evolved it, and evolved it into Blissey after using some items on it. And uh, I can't remember what else he said he used on it, but yeah. He's gonna apparently try and use Blissey. In Pokemon XD in the Ori Coliseum, as far as I've gotten is uh, Gonzap. I could probably get further if I really tr wanted to and try. I have the time to try, but 
one, I don't have the time to take, I want to take to do so, and two, I will mention what ha actually happened in that, and that is I gotten up to either the semifinals or finals against Gonzap, and, uh, I ended up losing. I can't win it all! No, you can't, and you never will. Alright, a secret! Well, let's just say there's a submarine at the far end, but by now, kiki kiki. Key, key, key. Okay, then. Why do you say key, key, key is weird? What are you, Yaki from Paper Mario? Mr. Tubba They're trying to steal me! Alert! Alert! Intruder! Alert! T Speaking of Paper Mario, Dramos has a full, full Let's Plays of both the first Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door on his channel, so go check them out. They're freaking awesome. And he freaking did a damn good job uh, with the Bowser fight in uh, Paper Mario, the first Paper Mario. And uh, I hate you, you stupid damn bag. Uh. Did I mention how much... Uh, did I tell you guys I hate the backspace? Because I do. And that's the one I'm going to give the Amulet Coin to. And it was the Quick Claw. That's what I get for not paying attention. I can't even remember what I was talking about now. I was talking about something that I wanted to mention, and it has now flipped my mind. Oh, yeah. Um, something about Paper Mario. I know what it was now. Um, let me see here before I continue on with that story. Glad I waited, because there's a grunt. Wah! I grew weary of waiting. You owe me a battle, too. Whatever. A battle I shall give you. Single Numa, you are lame. I will get, get to what I wanted to talk about in a minute once I beat him, because, again, I've been reading all the Vale Grunt's dialogue, so I want to continue to do so. Kill yourself to recoil. Aww, that would have been funny. Oh well. Give you a swift star. I'll give you a swift stars to the face. <laughs> Tired of waiting, lost and dazed. Boss, is this good enough? You don't have to ask the boss. I'll tell you, a lot's good enough. But, yeah, anyway, I, uh, a lot of people p don't like Goombario and say he's like the worst partner in the entire game in the first Paper Mario, but based on Drybone's LP, that is not true at all. Drybone's wrecked a lot of crap in the game with using Goombario and his charging. Like, a lot of people say Goombario's the worst partner in the game. He's very good if you know how to use him correctly, and Drybone definitely knows how to do that, because using the charge, he wrecks crap out of people. I think there was the boss of the one sky area, or I can't remember what it's called, but there was a boss there that he freaking wrecked with Goombario. There was also Kent C. Koopa, who you have to pay out the ass for coins, and he won't, still won't leave unless you beat him out. Uh, and like he, he put him to sleep, I think, with Lullaby, and then he freaking has had Gar Goombario charge up, and I can't remember if he woke up at all, but if he did, he kept using a lullaby and charging up with the Goombaro and beat him in one turn. It was freaking awesome. But definitely go out and check out his Let's Play of the first Paper Mario as well as the Thousand Year Door, but he freaking exploited the crap out of a lot of things with the Goombaro and his charging in that game. People do not get nearly give, give, give Goombaro nearly as much credit as what he deserves, because he can wreck cr the hell out of crap in that game. Goombario is so much more broken than what people would ever even consider giving him credit for. But anyway, that talk about aside. Hee hee hee. Guy already did you. Yeah, you estimate you. This is it. I'm gonna cut up a degrade you've seen so far. I'm gonna shine for time. I'm going to pulverize you. I'll get to why I gave him a slightly different voice in a second. But yeah. Team Magma Admin Tabitha returns. The reason I gave him a slightly different voice is because I was trying to make him more distinct. One, because he's an admin and actually has a name. And two, because in the what we've screen, seen from screenshots so far in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, Tabitha is going to be is not going to be quite so identifiable with the normal Team Magma Grunts. He's going to be 
uh, I think a, at least a, a somewhat shorter, and he's gonna be a little, he's a little more chubby. Not not quite as big as uh, Cherno from X and Y, but eh, he's not gonna be exactly be slender anyway. At least telling by at least by looking at his face, which I find interesting. But yeah. <clears throat> And Dragon's like less plays of the Paper Mario games are just awesome in general. And there are some funny parts. And one thing I like that he did, in the, I think it was in the first Paper Mario game, is that he showed off every what happens except for uh, Bo because you can't reject her uh, because the game won't let you. You can, like you can reject all of the partners once, and he showed off what happens if you reject the other part, like je reject the partners in the game, and it's quite interesting. It's uh, some of like one of the some of the things you can uh, read about people like with tattle using tattle in the overworld like your partners that you get in the game some of the things that you can uh, see to tattle on your partners in the thousand year door is hilarious like some of the things that Go Goomba says <laughs> oh you stupid mighty and I freaking hate you quit spamming swagger. And how the hell did you even outspeak? Oh, scary face. That's how you outsped me. Kill the Mariana, please. Okay, thank you. Stupid thing, die. Camera up. Um, before I, I'm going to talk about something uh, that could potentially be a spoiler to some of you watching this. So, spoiler alert now. Uh, if, if you do not want to be spoiled after I'm done talking, mute the video for at least, uh, well, I'd say to be on the safe side, half a minute if you don't want to be spoiled. So, here it is, so this is where you want to uh, uh, mute the audio to avoid being spoiled. But, Mega Camera Up was announced in, uh, about a week or two ago, something like that. It definitely needs a, it definitely can make use of Mega Evolution. I can't remember what its ability is, but yeah. <laughs> so I lost you. I'm sorry if I butchered that voice. It's a lot of stuff going through my mind right now. <laughs> While he's doing, you are boss. Got to do his preparations. He, <laughs> our boss has already gone on his way. Some came under the sea. If you're gonna give chase, you'd better search the big wide sea beyond Lily Cove. But will you find it then? He he he. I'll try and remember that voice for future reference because as as long as it sounds, I think it sounds good when I go back and listen to this recording. I will probably want to stick with that voice for the time being. But yeah, I'm trying to remember what I if I was talking about anything of importance and uh, I can't remember because brain farting is evil. Crap, I didn't want to fly, I wanted to switch the Pokemon around. Also, why can't I fly from here? That would make my life easier. Do 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 do. Let me think here, uh, Amulet Coin. Okay, good, I can take the Amulet Coin from it. Yay. Do 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 do. Oh wait, wait! I screwed up. Here we go. So yeah. <clears throat> Guys, I'll be back in just a second to check something out. So I'll see you. I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, everybody, I'm back. Main thing I want to do is check and see how long this has been going on, and I don't have a timer or anything like that with me to see and pay attention to how long this has been going on. But uh, guys, I'm going to end off the episode here. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Of Let's play Pokemon Ruby, and I'll see you guys next time when we uh, sur go surfing up pa up past where the Wilmer were. Uh, team, the Team Magma and Wilmer were blocking our path and see what the, wor the world on the water beyond Lily Cove has to offer. 
So I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Pokemon Ruby. So bye everybody. Thank you.